Why is he just doing some mowing over there? Just behind there. Got the chalices out, moving them over to where the passion fruit is. She's cleared up all of that behind there. Took all the big long grass out, or what they call safa. I made this with a ride on. Right on's just going. There's some issues with it, but yeah, unfixable. But yeah, workstation. Popos galore. That's really good. All that's clear. We're not too sure what we're going to do with that yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zena, I gave her a chicken. So Zena's got 14 pups. And that chicken's frozen. It's a very hot day. So it's good for her to cool it down. Yeah, all grass all over it, girl. Hey? Yeah. I'll let the chickens out a little bit later. Still got some carry trees. Uh, that I need to plant. About seven of my, I think. Yeah, so today is working outside. Oh. Just going to get some petrol for the ride on. Passion fruit to here. I'm going to move the trellis over here. There's one there. And there's one there. Planted this tarot a while back. Just to put something in it over here. So, um... Weeds don't ever grow it. It's a belly here. They're getting quite big, so they're getting so heavy that the branches are just breaking by themselves. So I've got to trim that back. So yeah, uh, just done the right on. Just uh, mowed all of this. I just got to mow the front strip. Um, there's an oil leak in it. Uh, the petrol doesn't flow really well. So I've got to um, not have a full throttle. And also, uh, the drive, the transmission, there's supposed to be a fan. There's a fan under there to keep the transmission cool. But all the propellers of the, of the fan are broken. So I can't, uh, when I put, a, put it down full throttle up a hill, it'll stop. So I, I sort of like just mow for an hour, let it cool down, and then I'll mow again. But yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, have a look at this guys. Have a look at this. I've got um, all the manioca growing, but I've got watermelons in here going really well. So hopefully they'll do quite well. Yeah. So all of this is all watermelons. We're in about one, two, three, four, five, six rows, seven rows. Uh, one of my pigs actually came in and dug a fair few out. But I'm very happy with how they're going. So whatever did survive, surviving well, this has got flowers on it already. This one's a big one here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so hopefully we'll get some watermelons this uh, December. And um, I've got to spray them with an antifungal spray. And I've got, I've got that in the house. But soon I'll do that. And then you got the cassava in between. So this is cassava. By the time that the watermelons are growing a little bit, hopefully this will shade it just a little bit. It doesn't need um, too much shade, so shades a little bit. So this is where the pig dug. All through there. So I had to change my fence system and now they don't come in. 
is um, so this is yellow manioke cassava. That at the back, that's uh, they call it uh, Fiji manioke. After six months, it's ready to go. And I got some around about one, two, three, four, four rows of sweet potato. That's the purple one. That's just for eating because we like that one. And to have leaves for the next crop. But yeah, my pig dug in here. But yeah. Alright guys, this is what we're doing today. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing guys. Look what I did. Get the veranda. Got the footing for the veranda done on one side. That's what I did this morning. And it's uh, dodgy that form work, but hey, as long as it works. Alright? And it's nice and level, straight. The timber's not level, but the concrete is level. That's the main thing. So there you go. So yeah, put that in. So that's ready for brick tomorrow. Hopefully I do it tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. So I'll do that brick. Then I can fill all that in with rock and concrete, all that. So that'll be good. All right, guys. Bye for now. Wow. Looks way better. Cool. So we'll probably end up mowing this as grass. <laughs> All right. I had the sheep in here and that's why they were eating the bananas. So taking them out now, they'll be right to grow. Those are Tonga bananas, a small little bananas, not lady fingers. Um, just small bananas. But yeah, it looks a lot better. Wifey cleared it all up. So that's awesome. Alright. Got some hopper. Plantain. This one's ready to eat, but we don't need it just yet. So if it starts going ripe, then I'll take it off. This one here. Yeah. Alright guys Bye for now